In today's tutorial, we're going to continue dealing with iterating through an object tree. This time we will add an array to the mix and look at how we can deal with that. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. And if you're inclined to support the channel, there's a link in the description for that as well. Now, in our last tutorial, we dealt with iterating through an object tree. If you haven't watched that tutorial, I will link to it in the description. The last tutorial got a couple of comments asking what we do about an array. I thought it timely to follow up with that right away. As you will see, an array is not really a problem but we still may want to deal with it differently. So first, let's look at the code we used in the last tutorial. This is the object we used which had some child objects, type and address, but notice now I've added an array. So we have an array of interests, things that we're, this person is interested in. Here we had a function is object we use this function to check to see if it is an object now obviously when we check to see if it is an object and we do type of val equals object an array will return true an array is considered an object let's just look at that really quick if I open this up clear the console and then declare an array like this and I do type of it returns object and so because that returns object this here is going to return true it's going to be considered an object now here's our main function where we cycle through all of the elements in the object and we log them to the console. If it is an object, we recursively call the function so that we're able to do child objects as well. In this case, the array will be a child object. So first, let's take a look at what happens with the array. And as I mentioned, it's not really a big deal, but we, we may want to deal with it differently. So if I refresh this, we can see that the array is broken out and we have the index and then we have the element listed next to the index. So an array is not a big problem with this because JavaScript arrays are really specialized forms of a JavaScript object. The array index is really nothing more than a property name that happens to be an integer. So that's what we're seeing here is the index showing as the property and then the element showing as the value. However, we may want to deal with this differently. We can't really tell what this is talking about. Down here, we can see when it goes into an object that, well, it's street one, street two, type one, type two. We can see what it is. What if we're able to list interest zero, interest one, interest two, interest three, and so on? That could give us more information if we were trying to deal with the object in this way. Obviously, there may, may be a lot of different ways you want to deal with it as you iterate over it. But let's use that as an example that we need to solve. So, if we want to deal with it differently, we need to take care of that here inside of this else clause. And we should check to see if it is an array because everything that comes here is going to be an object. So that would be both arrays and regular objects. And then we'll need to check to see if it's an array. Well, an easy way to do that is with the static method. The array static method is array. And we can simply pass in whatever we're currently working on. And if it is an array, we'll do something different. Otherwise, we'll just do our regular console log. So I'm going to put that up here. So that there will allow us to deal with arrays differently. Now, how are we going to deal with it differently? Well, let's see what happens when we do 
console log val. And as you can see, we're going to get the same results as we had before. We now know it's an array, but this is what it was doing on the array before. And so it's not going to change anything for us. If we take a look at that, refresh, we're still getting the same thing here. So what do we need to do to be able to get the fact that it is an interest? And then we can label them. Well, one way to do this, and you guys are always great at suggesting other ways, which I love to read in the comments. So if you have other, other ways, please include those in the comments. It helps everyone. But one way we could do this is what I've done here. Notice that I'm passing a second value. When I call the function recursively, not only am I passing the new object, or in this case, that object could be an array, not only am I passing that into this variable, but now I'm passing the actual property. However, we're not grabbing it yet. Okay. So what I can do is just grab that and I can label it original property, something like that. Then we can modify things here in our console log statement. Orig prop. We'll just put those two together. We'll concatenate those two together. And that should give us interest zero, interest one, and so on. Let's go ahead and see if that works for us. We'll save it and refresh. And there we have it. So a little bit better way of looking at that array. Though I think the important point is that in JavaScript, arrays are merely specialized objects. So we don't run into a lot of issues. Normally with an array, you may want to iterate through that using a for of loop instead of a for in loop. But since we're using this application with our object tree, this is how we can deal with the array using the exact same type of loop. All right, so there's a little addendum to our iterating over an object tree, dealing a little more specifically with arrays if we need to. Now, if you found the tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and remember to subscribe. Also, just a reminder, I've included discount links to all my courses in the description. Click the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. I release a tutorial each week. And once again, thanks for watching.